I got so many great questions and I'm going to answer them right now. So the first question is from Ellen in St. Louis. She's 67 years old and her question is a great one and we'll dive into it right now. Is endometriosis passed on from mother to daughter? Is it 100% of the time or 50-50 or do we not know? So this is a great question, Ellen. Endometriosis may have a genetic component to it. And so if I had my way, if I could rule the world when it comes to fertility and awareness and all those kinds of things, what I would want is every mother to sit down with her daughter by the time she's 25 and say, look, these are the things that I experienced when I was having periods, when I was trying to get pregnant, so that you don't have to have the same experience as I had figuring out maybe way too much later. I know that's not good grammar about those problems. Let me give you an example. So, for example, one of my first patients ever, she allows me to tell this story. She was 40 years old, literally first patient in my practice here. Her mom went into menopause at the age of 40. I saw her and she was 40 and she was going into menopause. And long story short, I asked her, do you know if your mom went into early menopause? And she said, I have no idea. So she went home and she asked her mom and her mom said, I went to menopause at 40. And her mom was like, oh my God, like you should have known this. Like I should have told you this when you were much younger because then you would have had more options. Long story short, she was actually my first baby in my practice and now he's in college. How is that possible? I don't know, but there should be some sort of like thing, like a quinceanera or, you know, some sort of event where moms do this with their daughters and they talk about these things. Wouldn't that be nice? So endometriosis is absolutely one of those things that I think we should be talking about around the dinner table. We shouldn't be making our daughters feel like having painful periods is actually the norm because it isn't. And getting gaslit by well-intentioned doctors about how, oh, you just need birth control pills when there are so many other things that you can potentially do to help your symptoms of endometriosis. So it's not as clear cut as 100% genetic. It's it's not as clear cut as whether it's 50-50 or not, but if your mom has endometriosis, it's possible that you might too. So if it runs in your family, you might want to consider fertility preservation, freezing eggs when you're younger, maybe freezing embryos when you're ready, if that's something that you want to do. 